Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and um, we're working on page six. Page six. So this is a lovely page, and it's from the 8x8 collection pad, and I'm gonna leave it intact, and then I'm going to add some photo mats over here on the side that's uh, kind of simple. So I just trimmed this down so that it's gonna fit on my pocket page, and everything is gonna be glued on the, the base. So you can go ahead and lay this down. Okay, and I've got my edges inked, and you know what? I didn't trim it. I inked it without trimming it. So I'm going to have to give that a break, and I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to trim it down. We'll get started again. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> had a false start. I had uh, picked this, inked it, and had not trimmed it, so it was a little too big for my page. That's hardly ever a problem with Graphic 45, since their 8x8s aren't really 8x8. They're slightly under. But with Chow Bella, they seem pretty true to size. Okay. Let's do that one more time. Okay, there we go. Right on target. Okay. So there is the beginning of page six. Sorry, I had to think that through. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add this trifold element right here. Um, and what I did to get this was I took one uh, eight and a half by 11 and I trimmed it. It's four inches wide. And then uh, I scored it at four and at eight. So that gave me the bifold with a hinge piece, and then I just took a four by four and attached it. So that's how I get this long one. Okay. I'm kind of thinking about what I want to do here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna put this down flat. So the way I have it folded, I mean, you could do it any way you want. You could, um, have it be like an accordion that opens, but I have it closing like this. And part of the reason I want to do that is because there's going to be a magnet here. That's how I'm going to keep it closed. Mm -hmm. So the center piece is what will be glued down, and then we'll have these two flaps that are uh, that will move about freely. There you go. straight on the bottom. It's a little high. It looks pretty good. Okay, now that's all in. Let's get our magnets in place. So one here and one here. Okay, so I chose this simple wood pattern to go here, 12 by 12.
And then on the inside, I'm going to do that, that, and that. The stripe is from the 8x8 collection. This is from the, the blue is from the 12x12. This is our last one. So you get this alternating pattern, both when it's opened and partially closed. Not inked. So that is page six, page six. Okay, I'll be back shortly with page seven. <laughs>